give me one second. Sorry, apologies about that uh, echo in there. That was Hi, my fault. Welcome to Operation Double Sending. Wicked Gardens. Militant separatists have been training in this Here's area the brief. of Camdesh. And as our peacekeeping mission, we have to destroy all of their camps, their training camps. Marked with the red fob marks of the three training camps we have to destroy in order from C11, G12, and then L11. And then we're going to stop at L11 and bunker down there. Where your squads will be, Sebi is going to be along the map border marked with the machine gun mark. Oddball is going to be on the marksman mark. He's going to be the one clearing the points and being in the middle of the platoon. Then we have K9 with the LAT mark. He's going to be north of Oddball, providing cover from any flankers. And then we got Sloth Boy with the truck mark. He is going to kind of be our flanking squad and kind of watching the six. So he's going to be a little back behind K9. Um, I've given your SLs kind of free reign to move as they see fit as there's hills and valleys. And I don't want you guys getting stuck in a valley. So it'll be up to them kind of to micromanage you. Do you have any questions? Yeah. That's a negative. If uh, Oddball Squad like gets all killed in the villages, or which squad are you going to send in to fill their place? We'll see who's in contact, either K9 or Sebi, or maybe like it really depends where everyone is and who's getting shot at. Okay, I didn't I didn't know if like Sloth was like the fill in for Oddball, because they're more than likely he's going to die first going in and all that shit. Yeah, it, nice. it depends. That's that's nice. <laughs> well, it's true. We believe in you, Oddball. Not if we have an accurate suppressing fire and letting them move. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we don't, Any other questions? Do All right, we got the British brief there. Three routes, three squads, trailblazing each route with a squad in reserve. Got some familiar names in here. We got Appa, another reg, and we're live actually. So the British are moving out. These guys still look like they may be trying to set up everything. Yeah, they're definitely setting up because you can even see Lodgy's moving north in the way in the northern extreme of the map. Phoenix is here in the central. You gotta imagine he's gonna be setting up that mortar, getting some uh, mortar fire up as soon as possible. Matter of fact, he's sitting right in front of it. With the mortar deployed, he basically is going to be waiting for commands, and he's gonna show up and lob all of the mortar grenades he possibly can. And in the north we have looks like a dispersion. Two squads or maybe this is just one squad here. One squad in this northern fob area and they've pushed off the point. Obviously there's nothing really there to defend. So they've split their squad looks like up into buddies. And they're defending four cardinal directions out from their fob here in the north. The northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. And then the technicals up north here. The Dishka technicals have split all the way up here to the north. Maybe they're anticipating a west to east approach for the British. Be kind of amazing to see how they knew that at this point, but... I think this just may be a standard Fast. staging point for them. You see the two technicals. They're just parked. Actually, this is just one technical. Mind lose my mind. Okay, this is just one. So maybe they have the other one on the other side of the map. Makes a lot of sense. Now we're going to look and see where everyone's moving because this is just a moving bit. No one's really... Insurgents haven't put anything in the western, the western side of the map. So British are going to be sort of running around here, just looking, approaching each point carefully. You see Lima moving with British Squad 1. They're along the southern map border here. 
They're pushing with squad three at their left flank. Pretty much directly in coordination here. Atomics with squad two here. We're looking at this is the most eastern part of the uh, British force. They've pretty much pushed up by themselves to an elevated position. And it looks like they're trying to coordinate on some sort of strike here on the southern village if it's occupied. Hey, Spills, catch up with the rest of the yeah. hey, Charlie, I'm Assaults here with squad four for British. They seem to be a reserve, like a reserve element. They're keeping security next to their uh, next to their lodgy. Charlie, we're going to a. That's a Evan told me to come back to you. All right, sounds good. Uh, just... We have liberal pundit medic for insurgent squad two. Squad two down in the south. So I'm not I'm mistaken. With me. Mr. Nick, I actually have to double check guy. that. Mr. Nick, I'm relish. I want you to wait on the radio position. Uh, just watch He's in the southern the base. They have the HMG set up. Squads. And they are uh, uh, you come over with me. beginning to send out buddies. Money Man is part of squad four. And he is... Uh, keeping eyes up on the northern point. They've pushed out about 100 to 200 meters away from their point. And they've just separated. Money Man's got himself the northeast or the northwestern sector along with Pony. Dix folks pushed alongside Hellcall and Grunt. He's looking at his southwest se or southeast sector, although he's turned to face to more direct south. I wonder if they heard something and they're just looking this direction, but they're not peeking their head over the hill looking more southeast. They are pretty much looking south. Frederick's part of squad one. So they're the center squad. They have the mortar as part of their camp. And uh, Frederick's pushed out here with Frost, actually. He's pushed out to his west. So this is a buddy team that's going to be roving. And a matter of fact, this is the closest INS to contact right now for British. As British have pushed back past the uh, first village in the south, you can see okay. Frederick and Frost here at the bottom. And they're looking directly, looks like they're looking pretty much west. They found themselves some bushes to hide behind. Oh, Frost is looking north. He's trying to scan a northern sector. Frederick must be scanning a southern one. But British forces are not that far away. Matter of fact, they're, they're coming in this direction. They've still got a ways to go. Looking at the map, looks like we've got about maybe 400 meters or so left to contact. But this uh, second squad for British, now we got uh, K9 leading his group right along this road here. And even with the terrain that's in the way and the foliage that's in the way, you got to imagine that Peach and, or not Peach, but uh, Frost and company are going to be having eyes on this real quick. Matter of fact, this, I believe this is one of the uh, places they were ordered to clear as part of their patrol in this yellow route. Push quickly east, get south of squad two. Understood. Now, with this skylining here, Frederick may actually have eyes on this. It's a long shot. Okay. There's another ridge line. Someone got binos out. Still nothing seen on this map. We're going to Atomics. Very carefully will, scanning uh, all the ridge lines around this position, we may have assuming that they're being at watched point, if at all points during this patrol. Got Atomic covering a southeastern sector. He's looking at the opposite ridge line. 
where forces haven't screen, haven't uh, screened through yet. There's two British forces screening to their south. So maybe these guys are just going to wait, let these guys come up online. Ah, Peach, I was looking at you. Matter of fact, in the distance, uh, Spectator UI is showing Clay J and Mr. Muffs is pushed out way west of the squad that's they're defending. Something tells me INS may have more information about where these guys are coming from. It seems like the southern two bases only have forces deployed west. Peach pushing forward here into a little bit of a ravine. And you got to wonder what's going to happen when insurgents start reporting contact here. How quickly is Phoenix going to be on the mortar? Because I guarantee you that's going to happen. Chicken spills, Daddy. He's got Binox running with Binox. So switch back to weapon. That's good. Don't want to be. Don't want to be peeking the hill, and uh, walking straight into a. Uh, Bravo fire walking straight into an LMG prepared position. You know, with just your Binox out. Got to be able to return fire at any time. And it looks like. K9 squad is scaling this hill, so they're going to be keeping a lot closer to the other uh, to the other British elements as they're moving along the south. Matter of fact, we got really close to contact here. Clay J, or is this uh, who's in the south? Mr. Muffs and Guz. Mr. Muffs and Guz are pretty far along here to the west. And Sebi has spotted him. Oddball, get someone on me. We're gonna get more to North is of K9, round about F10. And Frederick has also been spotted by K9. British forces have spotted the forward deployed infantry. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if Silas let a let a round or two rip here. I guarantee you he sees Mr. Muffs. This is not an inconspicuous hiring spot. And you're definitely not inconspicuous when your fleshy hands are in front of your glassy uh, Binox at range. It, especially against, against this terrain, you're just highlighting yourself. And we're going to take a look at... Uh, we're going to take a look at this position. Here's Lima Bean and Ronan. Mr. Muffs is not inconspicuous at all. And Ronan, I think, just deployed his, bina, his bipod. Yep, and Mr. Muffs is dead. Looks like Terrapin was able to get a shot on that. And now the British are uh, just adding fire here. I think they assuming they're assuming that there's more people here. Grid location on my contact. Uh, and now we also heard that British were deploying mortars. That's a uh, perfect. It's not a horrible idea, but I think Evan is going to throw mortars to a position that has no insurgent force. Unless Evan's just going to start pounding the next base up the road. The next suspected location. So far, he's not moved his tube in a direction. Meanwhile, insurgent forces, massive movements. Everyone's now looking west. Matter of fact, everyone's looking west, and there's a squad of insurgents also been mobilized to the north. Chameleon, along with uh, Sugard here. And who's this other ops guy? Dwarf. 
Yeah, that's a big deal. Your second in command is leading a uh, fire team himself down from the north. And they're going to start sweeping down south. Moving in a file. They're trying to get there fast. Or close to a file, as I guess you can. I don't know. This is like a tactical blob. I'm not going to nitpick on formation. They're just moving hilltop to hilltop, trying to spot British forces. And they're only about five, 100 meters away as the crow flies. I'm keeping eyes on that gap. The British objective, remember, is to clear each route of its training, uh, training bases for our insurgents. And enemy mortars are inbound. So each of these routes have a training base for insurgents. I thought I heard a mortar land. Mortars are far northeast of the. They're mortaring. They're mortaring one. Oh. Yeah, one. Contact was around E10, around that area. Stan, insurgents okay, massively yeah. redeploy their positions here. They're turning west. But some of them are definitely looking to move south, create a massive wall between these two uh, insurgent bases in the south, the ones with the actual assets to defend. There was only one. Yeah, I lost him too, but he was there. Matter of fact, Insurgy, uh, yeah, or not Insurgy, Sevi just reported over command net. They might have contacts in the next base. Frederick has now been rejoined by the rest of his fire team. Uh, also see the crest of the hill directly to our east pretty well. Ooh. Mortars are still a little off, but they're getting closer. You need mortars. Mortars landing about 150 to 200 meters. I'm in a mortar. This is more like 100 meters. Uh, south of Sloth Squad over here on British, they've taken up a elevated position. I'm mortaring at Sloth. Something that's probably a... Uh, No, actually, I want you to look in like... And, uh... Like that may be Hell Call and Dick's Falk, along with Revy calling this out over Insurgent Command. They probably have eyes on these guys uh, skylining over here. Matter of fact, here comes more mortars, and they've corrected. But it, it's uh, too far. Mortars land behind Sloth's position. They pulled back into where the mortars were. Dick's folk I just saw someone looking out back. over here. He's part of this element that has eyes on an entire squad. And now British mortars coming in. I think it almost hit near close to uh, Dick's folk's position. Running uh, southwest, Christian southeast. Right. British forces now surrounding, or they're trying to get online and have a massive line here, like a 600 meter line. Uh, help! Uh, uh, Slot Squad is still sort of isolated here. Evans mortars landing behind the hill, and they're not able to give a proper BDA. I imagine Evan is just going to switch gears here and start just shelling this hill once he actually gets on target. Meanwhile, Sloth is engaging Grunt. Grunt's crawling back to concealment. Oh, he gets hit in the back. I think that's coming from Sloth directly. And Grunt gets the defilade. Oh, Assault just got hit by a mortar. And the mortar is now coming in heavier. But it seems to be just behind the element. And Sloth is trying to get his guys to bug out. Assault is bandaging. He's the medic? And he is getting up now. I, I would definitely imagine. Yeah, 
Assault. I think he just lost a fire team to a mortar. I think he just lost the rest of his fire team. Those two dudes were sitting on top of each other. One fucking mortar killed them. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, so, so the mortar yeah. definitely got multiple yeah. people. So, spacing. I've seen Assault move out to the southeast, trying to get back online with the rest of the platoon. And more mortars coming in, more casualties way in the distance there. Matter of fact, looks like the Dishka may have moved up a little bit. And it's throwing some long range shells out there. Peaches with a uh, fire team that is close in contact, but a mortar just lands right next to him. Flicker gets hit. Mortar slandering, landing about 20 meters, 30 meters to his north, but Flicker hits. And they're falling back. It uh, looks like they're going to get off this hilltop here and try to reposition. Yeah, that's where their five is. G eleven nine nine, that village. G eleven nine nine. Yeah, that village directly to our northeast. That's what I saw barbed wire there. Oh. G eleven nine nine. Kuba gets hit here. He's bleeding, bandaging, running at the same time. Maybe he got shot, or maybe a mortar actually landed over here. In any case, he's uh, he's stabilized himself. He's down about half his hit points. Speaking of Dishka fire, that's Mr. Nick on the uh, shield of Dishka here, and he's laying. He's throwing some rounds towards. Uh, I guess he's throwing his rounds to the right of William FBD. His squad lead is actually up there spotting for him. On top of that, a rock. So he's giving command channel definite first-hand accounts of where British are maneuvering around. And he's actually real close. He needs to get out, or he's actually stuck here. I think he's actually just stuck here. So if William actually doesn't know these guys are up above this north or his south rather an entire british squad is within 30 meters of his position or maybe not 30 meters but it's still close british squad pushing straight past using this deflate on the southern part of the uh, map and they're trying to get in a great position, but a lot of fire going up here in the north. There's a bunch of casualties being traded here. We're coming up Money here. Man just lost uh, his buddy. No, maybe not. You know, Money Man's moving with Pony. He's moving down a hill. He's trying to cut off. They're, I think they're going to throw themselves directly into a side of a maneuvering British force here. Squad 2 is moving on their next village. Pony and Money Man are running to catch up. And Money is going to scale this hill here. More uh, friendly or more British forces down. Sloth has pushed up by himself. Hawk is here by himself, too. I got a pistol. Money Man and Pony are about ready to run over Hawk here. Hawk's not looking in his direction. I think Pony is seeing Hawk. Uh, yeah, Pony sees Hawk and pistol whips Hawk in the face from behind. Rip. Sloth is by himself. He's lost an entire squad. Wow. 
to look at the uh, casualty counts right now. 14 casualties for British, 10 casualties for INS. Got to imagine that uh, Phoenix is still in that mortar. Yes, he is. Let's take a look and see how many people he's killed. One. Those numbers are never right, but they usually give a good idea. Make sure you're watching all the angles. Got Lima. We just lost another in the center north. He's uh. With Squad One here, he's trying to engage at a distance into the uh, the HMG fob. This is the squad that's flanked way south. William FBD is dead, so that's another uh, that's another leadership position vacated now. They were right on top of them. Oh yeah, I'm got the Frederick survived his first encounter. Pretty good. And uh Nuclear, are they west of you or more south? Southwest. He's with the rest of his squad. Godzilla Pro and Kuba with them. They're getting online to try to help defend the mortar fob a little bit off the mortar fob. Warrior, Warrior as on your head, stay on the north side. A friendly near him, Warrior 56, is about ready to be run over by Atomic Peach and the rest of this fire team here, K9 squad. Moving slowly. And, uh, matter of fact, I don't think they're really near this position. Oh, Atomic Peach just got nailed from his north. Insurgent forces all around. Mortars coming into this position. Mortars landing just behind. And they are north, correct? Flicker might actually get hit if the spread broke any more to the uh, to the northeast. Phoenix just threw like three uh, like three salvos of mortars over here. That's a lot of ammunition to spend. Meanwhile, Pony, Mr. Money Man, still have, uh, oh, Money Man just got hit. Sloth just uh, turned on him, and I think you saw him skylining. Money Man stabilizing himself, and he's losing a lot of health. Looks like he got shot in the shoulder, so saving grace, he wasn't face shot. Pony is uh, trying to find where Sloth was shooting from, I think, to re-engage it. Money Man has got himself a uh, Money Man's got himself an RPK and he throws the bi he's trying to throw the bipod up to try to get, engage these guys over here. They're in the village south of, of, uh, the He's looking for any British that are going to push through cuz he's got a great position. Let's the British push him here. Hang on. Is there confirmed contact to our east in the village? That's what Oh my gosh, Dorf has a squad all the way. Dorf has a squad moving behind the British forces now. Within about 300 meters of British forces behind as British forces descend on the HMG fob. Oddball with the uh, oddball and Doobie Scoo make it all the way to the radio building. But Mr. Nick is still up there. He's getting suppressed by, it looks like, Synchronized and Vaxton. Yeah, I think Vaxton's throwing some rounds through the window here, along with Synchronized. He can't get on the Dishka when he's being suppressed like this. He throws a smoke. He's trying to get out of this position, but I mean, throw smokes and grenades. Oh, Appa tries to run up in the building, but doesn't get very far. 
And now enemy mortars all around the uh, building. I think uh, Oddball had someone with him, and I think he just got mortared. Meanwhile, Guz is up here holding off Lima Bean and a fire team. He's throwing a grenade and it hits Lima Bean. He gets the bandage immediately. Another grenade close to uh, actually not really hitting anyone, and Guz runs away. Guz falling back. He's trying to find another position to ambush these guys at as British forces throw grenades up the hill. Would have been bad for Guz, but Guz got out of there. Pretty good displacing there. Take a look at Lima and Silas here. All right, you get an ammo bag down. I'm going more uh, southwest of you. I don't know if you can. We're at we're right at map border. Oh yeah, I'm fine here. These guys are going to uh, keep sweeping this southern map border here. They want to be. They want to make sure no one's coming. No one's making use of this ravine. It's pretty good. Alright. And you know what? If they push north a little bit, they would see an entire squad running towards the HMG fob. A little fire team here. Looks like maybe led by Dorf has closed the door on the to the west. Lego dude engages and kills J2 Gun. British forces don't know what's happening right now. They're still positioned like east. A oh, little bad grenade throw there by Lego dude, but you know, he tried to throw it through that window. Props. Lego dude's gonna run around the corner here. Some British forces are actually stuck outside of the uh, fob radio building. Lego dude jumps the freaking window. They're gonna clear this building to find no one's here. I lied. John Daly's still upstairs, and he's dead. A rather Scottish chap and Lego dude clearing out this uh, most western structure. British forces still hanging out. Looks like one person's digging the radio. And everyone else is just trying to shoot through whatever they can. The little blocked up building here. A blocked up entrance here. Dorf is just running up on this? No, he's almost ran up on this, though. Oddball. I had to buy you as much as And I Sinful. Oh, I think Oddball's dead. I don't see him. Command had some uh, radio issues, but synchronized getting shot through his door here by Dorf, Alpha Guido. The grenade gets thrown out, but I think those guys saw it. Dorf is actually real close to contact here. This radio is almost gone. They're trying to shoot through any opening they can. Synchronized peeks back out. Grenades come in. Synchronize is already down to his last mag. Oof. Oh man. Synchronize has run out of all of his ammo. Meanwhile, Alpha Guido. Um, potentially has eyes on whoever's digging the radio here. It looks like he's going to try to run back around. British forces in the south have redirected themselves, and now they're shooting Dorf in the back. Storm's dead. I think Legadu just died. Or Legadu just died? I think Legadu just... Uh... See, I'm getting confused with everyone that's around here. 
Yeah. So, so Lima Bean and his fire team, which technically I think Silas actually Lima Bean's running this fire team, but Silas is in command of the squad. Able to sneak up on Dorf. Dorf gets out of there, but they lose a couple people behind. Alpha Guido is on a mission, though. He's coming straight to this position. I don't see where he's shooting at us. He's coming straight for this position. He's got himself a rock. Uh, I see you guys. Okay, guys you're right you're right if you get definite shots, I've got shit right now. Vladdy Putin has eyes on enemy. I think you just killed Mr. Nick. Yeah, you just definitely killed Mr. Nick from here. That's a hell of a shot. It's got to be at least a uh, 200 meter shot from here. But he is continuously getting flanked here. Alpha Guido just spots Vladdy Putin. And that's all, that's all she wrote. Alpha Guido just drops to a knee and just headshots him in the side from about 100 from about 50 meters away terrapin throwing up the bipod just destroys alpha guido and this element is no longer no longer operating with uh surprise this is command up here for um or not command but second in command over here part of the original flanking squad that came all the way down from the north Ooh, Lima Bean just hit Scottish Chep, I think. Oh, Silas hit him. All right, so a little update on forces here. British have moved into the southern FOB area. They've cleared out the FOB, and they're reconsolidating here. All right, we should double back west a little bit here. Try to catch him in open. Lima's still looking to his south here, although Dwarf and Scottish Chep have moved away. They're getting out of there. Let's see. Frederick is uh, moving by himself in the backfield. He looks like he's moving to his south. He might be trying to catch up with the rest of his squad that's moving back. Money is following his buddy Best Pony. They're going to fall back and regroup at the Mortar Fob training base. Phoenix is uh, in a Logitech now for some reason. That's cool. Must be putting more ammo into the Mortar. And uh, Pony's going to hop in there. Here's one of the other Dishkotechis. Vader Centurion, along with Revy, popping in this guy. Looks like Pony's going to go along for a ride. Oof. Dealey got rejected. Harsh. He's going to catch a ride with the Blodgy here. Maybe they're going to fall back and take another position. Either that or they're going to... Uh... So, insurgent forces are generally pulling back. Um, this is weird. Technically, all British have to do is uh, clear both the other radios. And now that they know there's no radio in the south, why would you continue to push in the south? And so, a little bit of a misplay here by um, insurgents. I think it's safe to say, although they are backing up. All right, hey, once you guys get over there, go up, make sure you're full security. Don't just get all bunched up. Uh, insurgent commander Londarts. He's in this random place here. Uh, running around. British forces consolidated in the south. Hey, well topped off. Medics attending to folks. 
You're gonna be a fire key. Looks like Sloth has taken over command for British. Get in an update here. 32 casualties for British, 23 casualties for insurgents. So that means British is all the way down to the end. <laughs> Frederick, part of the INS forces that are falling back, they've ign they've just fallen back all the way. Um, so the British have cleared a checkpoint here. They have to clear all the way down to the end. So now the British have to push along this route to go all the way to the end. So they're pushing all the way to the east. The insurgent forces have redeployed, so not the misplay that I thought it was, just me, a little bit of misinterpretation. And now we are, uh, we're going to see a tremendous slog here to finish out the rest of the round. On foot, British have to clear a click and a half of wooded forest all the way to the east. All right, boys, we're just going to crawl this map. We're not going to crawl, but we're going to creep this uh, map border all the way up to uh, Lima 11 1. You can see Phoenix has put down a, uh, a hab here, or uh, not a hab, but a uh, radio here. Keep good flank security, too, because these guys out here in the south. Need to flank I wonder if. I wonder what he's doing here. He looks like he wants to, uh, hmm. He's looking to the ground in a very weird way. He's trying to study the ground. We're not going to look at that. Frederick's here. He's finally caught up with the rest of the squad here. Where is he? He maybe he thinks he can do that. All right. Kick him, Clay. <laughs> He's manager. Dude. If you don't I think let he, him, yeah. He thinks the fob determines the. Like they have uh, to destroy the fob if they don't clear it. I think that's what he thinks. Uh, just tell him to dig it up. Does it? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. You know how build points are, anyways. Yeah, I thought he'd build a mortar, yeah. Oh, bam. Roll the map. Does it get us spotted? Kind of far out there. But they're just looking for the British forces. They're definitely looking in the right direction. Although, I have things to say about the spacing. It's not really important right now. They definitely are looking in the right direction. British will definitely be arriving from this angle. Matter of fact, a keen eye would have spotted Spills Daddy. The way, so something tells me these guys may have been spotted already. And Canine, you can barely see him in the distance. I think Dorf sees that. And if Dorf doesn't see it, he definitely sees it sooner. He'll see it sooner than later. British forces are not being inconspicuous with their move here. Matter of fact, look at that. He's moving with his binox up. He thinks he's running out of time, but there's plenty of time. Uh, meanwhile, a rather Scottish chap has switched to a rifle, and I bet you someone's going to get popped in the face here in a second. And so has Dorf. The spacing leaves much to be desired, but synchronize runs straight into him. They try to take out Spill's daddy, but no. And I think these guys are just going to fall back. Uh, 
sounds like they opened up on you guys. They are getting shot at, though. They are getting shot at, actually. And I think Riley Scott's chap just got hit. Uh, maybe not. I don't think he's bleeding. So they are falling back. And Guz just got displaced as well. Now something tells me no one saw Guz. Because he was hiding behind. He was like hiding right here, man. You got to be having like laser vision to see this guy. British, uh, British still spending some rounds here. I don't know if they really have the luxury of doing that. You see Lima Bean is looking around, just trying to make sure it's safe for him to proceed. Don't actually know if uh, he's got anyone to order around. I don't see shit right now. We're gonna try and just Roger. Pass them and get around behind them. Were they all just out of the northeast Roger. in this uh, village here? Is that where the contact was from, right? Say again, Lima? The contact was from this village northeast, Yeah, correct? yeah, yeah. We're pushing, we're pushing south They're to the borderline really and then uh, gonna pushing up. Follow them slash cover. We're just going to push past them. Gonna so you heard the there. call there from Sloth. They're just going to push the uh, southern border and use this uh, defilade here, or use what they think is defilade, to hide as much of their advance forward as possible. And you can see this land is a little bit lower than this ridge line to their median north. Once they cross another few ridges, however, there's going to be this big, huge gap from here almost to the next village is lower terrain and they're going to lose the advantage they've been using to take advantage or they've been losing the advantage to to move a little bit faster here now granted they are moving a little bit faster they're being careful although they are and they aren't british forces down tremendously in number here I Money is uh, still hanging out with his buddy over here. Best pony. Yeah. And we have Frederick as part of the main defense here at the last point. There's a big ass clearing there about to run across. We got to try to make he's sure got himself a. Uh, he's actually moving around a little bit. I think he's moving cool. inside the building. Yeah, or he's actually right outside of it. Starts. He's got himself the ridge line to the immediate west of the village. Yep. This is good. So he's going to be part of the main spotting for everyone inside the village. Matter of fact, he's got his binocs out. He's looking around. It'll be a little while before contact gets to him, but he'll definitely be on the front line once it gets to here. Given the number of militia between here and there. Ooh, they're actually getting real close. They're now within about five, 600 meters. And they're continuing to push. They're pushing past elements of insurgents, though. That seems to be doing pretty good for them. But like I said, ultimately, they're going to crest a hill. And this is the part of the hill right here that I was talking about. They're going to be wide open for uh, Phoenix and CeeLo to spot them. Matter of fact, they're pushing straight past where Dorf, Liberal, wait, oh, no. I'm saying too many people's names here. Dwarf and Scottish chap. Uh, maybe they have eyes on this, actually. And they're just holding fire. Yeah, they definitely have eyes on this, and they're just holding fire. Look at this. Turn the names off. It's getting kind of annoying. You could see these two guys right in front of you. Definitely have eyes on that contact. When you see from Dwarf's position, you definitely... You definitely know he sees these guys and he's reporting every single step they take.
zombie one, we will use that to our advantage then. Kilo what? Kilo, Kilo nine. 12, nine. Nine. Sloth trying to piece together some sort of attack here. So He's got some assets to play through. with. He's got a, uh, we'll let's see, with, uh, rifleman, rifleman. I think I saw an MMG still up. 12, oh, Phoenix had eyes on. Turtle to me. Silas, get that MG set up. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, That's yeah. What I'm doing. Here we go. Terrapin okay. is gonna. Oh fuck, they just moved. So right here, oh thirty. 30. Uh, no, yeah. They moved though. That's where they were. I was Warrior and Phoenix. Warrior and Phoenix breaking position. Moving left to right. I'm gonna check six again. Lime was turning around actually. He may actually see. Oh, he has his. He doesn't have. Oh no. Lime bomb might actually get shot in the back here very soon. Dwarf and Scottish chap are just coming up on him. Dwarf. Yeah, he sees Lima. Lima's looking in the complete opposite direction. Now he turns around. He gets shot in the face. Dwarf just drops him. And now they know there's someone behind him. Terrapin turns around. He's got an MMG. That thing's going to suck unless you can get it deployed. Grenades coming out on Lima's position. Ooh, Terrapin hits the gets hit by the second frag, and I think he's trying to bandage. Dwarf uh, up and over the ridge line, almost there. Silas has to. If Silas, if Silas is going to heal Terrapin, this is bad news. All Dwarf has to do is just throw another grenade, but he may not have one. They're out in the open. Terrapin's up. Terrapin guns down Dwarf. Scottish Good Trap guy, is guys. still back there. You uh, gotta imagine. Do you yeah, hold this? You want me to... Scottish Trap not doing anything. I, I think he's looking for movement. Right, you watch this. I'll back up a little bit and cover. This is so fucking scary. If Scottish Trap stands up, he's gonna get spotted for sure. You can see him you leaning over there. I think that's the yeah, we gotta bounce backwards. I got you for now. I think he just uh, grabbed something from an ammo bag. Or he's looking... He's looking in the wrong direction. He thinks he's getting shot from behind? Oh, no. Well, Terrapin gets away and Silas gets a... gets a chance to heal Terrapin completely up. Meanwhile, casualties... British forces losing people as they get closer here. Dr. K9 just died. There are some, uh, uh, who's this got through? Spill Daddy? Spill Daddy gets shot though. He's getting shot from up above the ridge line. He goes down. That was real close to the uh, end objective, but trickling through with the with the minimum amount of people is not optimal and uh scottish chap still keeping quiet he's not even looking for this contact so terrapin still keeping his rear guard up uh i think the British forces are now going to commit to a big push here. As Sloth makes start makes it making his way across this open field or the relatively open field that is this ravine. Ooh, Warrior gets hit. I think Silas shot Warrior up. Warrior bandages. Warrior and Silo. Silo the medic. Or no, that's ammo bags. More grenades. More grenades. And the Dishka, for some reason, is over here. Is there a Dishka Techie? Uh, yes. Hold on a second. Am I just over top? Yeah. So who's this? This is Revy on the Dishka Techie. Throws a few rounds out there. Gets off. 
feels bad man for the British indeed. But this is just round one. We got a second round coming up after this concludes. We're going to switch teams and do it all over again. Looks like Revy's going to move his... Oh, he's going to get back on the turret. Maybe he sees something. Or he's going to reload the gun first. Put some WD-40 on that thing, man. You hear the... Every minute little change he makes. Yee-hoo. Yee-hoo. British forces engaged as they continuously move towards. Looks like maybe another casualty here. And that's GG, actually. Wow. Okay. So the British push doesn't actually get there. They are able to clear out the first objective on their route, but that's it. They can't get to the end. Too many casualties take sustained on the way to there. So that was round one of Wicked Gardens. We're going to have round two here in a bit. So stay tuned for round two. British forces are patrolling from one end of the map to the other, and they're going to use one of three routes. Now, on these routes are going to be some insurgent training bases. These training bases have varying levels of armament to them. Any base that's on the north, on the red, is going to have nothing. The base on the yellow line is going to have mortars. The base on the green line is going to have HMGs. Now, the British get to start on either side of the map, and they have to push through to the opposite side. And at the last checkpoint on any of those routes, they have to hold out until the end of the mission, which is when all the insurgents have thrown everyone into them. So. Digital, I think it's a lot of fun. I think, uh, I think the game's fun depending on who you play it with. It depends on who you play it with. And uh, just going through some of our cameras. Militant separatists that we come across. So in the north, we're going to have Revy and Dorf. Revy squad from live will be moving to the helmet mark in Charlie 729. Actually getting a uh, British platoon brief here. So we're going uh, to listen in on this as it's in progress. That's where the reinforcement mark is with 152. And uh, from there, coordinating with Ruby, pushing on to the first objective, Delta 886. While that's going on, William's going to be setting up in the, let's see, we'll give William the resupply ammo mark in Charlie 916, providing a base of fire for Phoenix while he gets up on the big hill here, which I'm going to mark with a, uh, what shall I mark that with? The BTR. Charlie 1095. The Southern Squad's job is to screen for enemy movement coming out of potentially Delta 10 or Charlie 11. It's great eyes all the way across to the east. Once we secure the first objective, we're then basically going to uh, be moving forward with the two Southern Squads uh, south of our objective location, screening for INS force, and the two Northern Squads moving in on point as we go. On word of warning, this ridge here is a key piece of terrain. So just be mindful as we complete the first objective and move to that, that uh, you are being vigilant for any anime activity there. If you see it, I want good accurate call outs up the chain of command. All right, guys, any questions before we get into it? All right, excellent. Squad leaders, break them out for live. Uh, let's start on the uh, west side of uh, the base here. All right. Guys, can it take that long? I don't like it now because you can't read it. Here's Londar. It's got himself a... Does he got himself a Lodgy? Oh, he's going to go get this one. This is going to be the Mortal Lodgy. And here we go. Live is called. Both teams begin. Yeah, we are late. Five seconds. Moving out. Start moving southeast. Missed the muffs falling behind Charlie. Seeing Liberal as part of the southern force here. It's moved out on the south side of the base. Slowly starting to break. Let's spread our across all over that range over there. 
Bro, I want you on the southern side of the bridge. Yeah, like the... Lots of running going on on the British side. Like the, um, whatever happened to the Zulus, you know. Or the, the retreat from Kadar. You know, just lots of running. I guess so who's gonna take this rid? And then we'll make our push. Except everyone sort of wants to. So out of uh, British Main, two squads north, two squads south, and the command is still sitting at base. He is gonna roll that Lodgy out when he thinks it's time to put down some mortars. So they're gonna each go to their first objective on these various routes. And they're going to start pushing east. Two, this is one. Let me know when you're in position. My guys are ready to cross. Bounding by squads. Being executed on the south side here. They're going to bound across the road and into the next hill. All squads, this is command. Expect them to be off point, so be vigilant. Papa Londart's giving the advice as best he can. Squad 2, this is 1. Please let me know when you are ready. My guys are ready to move. How copy? Phoenix wants to go. Two, Heard two. Yes, please. Space. Sorry. Sorry. Roger that. Oh, Ooh. The call for spacing has even gone out. British forces are just taking their time. I remove in Delta. In the south, anyway, Chase. they're taking their time. Squads in the north, however, they covered about four or five hundred meters already, and they're continuing to push. Um, meanwhile. Something shenanigan-ish, like, it's going down the south here. What's with, the, the, what's with this? I'm trying to get over there. To see there's a tentacle pushed up and there's a whole squad disembarked. Looks like uh, Lima Bean's part of this group here, too. Sebi has a squad. They've pushed up on this hill. So this is a high hill. Probably the highest point on this side of the map, really. So they're going to occupy this and be looking for anything. Are they cutting their force instead of focusing in one line? So far, that's yes, because they're looking for contact. They're going to push along. The British forces are going to push along a line based on what type of uh, resistance they're getting. And they also want additional elements. Because if they just push along one line, they open themselves to get shot in the back, shot from the side. So with more elements along other lines, maybe they can minimize this uh, walking into crossfire situation. Because we saw last round, that's bad. Lucas. Ronald's got himself a nice perch overlooking a town here in Fox 11. British forces pushing along. Maybe they'll get here in time. I mean, for sundown. They are pushing maybe about five meters a minute. Not very fast. Three, keep on uh, continuing uh, pushing on your vector. If four doesn't come into contact, I want you focusing on getting position north of the rain. Lima Bean has got his binox out. He's talking with the oh, squad man. lead. What do I have on? Hey, Coordinating what they're gonna do. Stupidity. Oh, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> that was not smart. That was indeed not smart. Total yeah, zero certainly could be a confusion Nothing. tactic. But I find confusion tactics work best in your mind. 
especially when you're playing with limited assets like 40 people it's very risky to just start charlie go ahead and get it set up on the top very risky to just start uh throwing around people's lives British forces starting to get pushed past the D file now, getting closer to where the insurgents are starting to hold. Insurgents have stacked all of their bases on the easternmost point. So realistically, all British have to do is just move in and just pick a point and clear it. And that accomplishes both their patrol and the fact that they've made it to the last point for the end of their patrol. Dix Folk moving as part of Squad 4. Bravo team, uh, get to the ridge and like... Pony part of that same squad. They're looking to move across the road here very shortly. Get into the next ridge line. I think they're actually clearing this first village. I haven't actually taken a look and see how the rest of INS team were actually set up here. So mainly what we're looking for is Gulf 11-9, village to our east, northeast, and Gulf 12-5, village to our south, east. Just trying to take in where everyone's at right now. I'm still looking around for most people. Looks like a squad full of people at the bottom point here in Lima 11. They've spread out. Matter of fact, we can see some uh, sandbags being added here. I wouldn't be surprised if we started seeing uh, Dishka very soon. I imagine behind this crescent. The next uh, defense point for insurgents is going to be in Juliet 10, Kilo 10, like around this area right here. That's where the mortar is going to be at at some point. The fob is back on the west side or the east side of the road. Sort of a little small uh, hamlet pushed into this hillside here. And the last point in the north over here in Juliet 9. It's not going to have anything but people. So squad three is up here in the north. Squad two, along with command, is in the center. Squad four in the very south. And squad one's pushed all the way up, uh, all the way to Fox 10. They got themselves pretty high ground. I imagine we'll start, they'll start relaying some contact soon, contact reports soon, because... Very soon, if the British Squad 1, which is actually split up now, you can see Squad 1 has split up their fire teams. Now they're about 400 meters away from each other. They're going to keep pushing just to make sure that nothing's going to happen to them as they continue, as the main bulk of their force pushes uh, west to east along the north. All right, Bravo 1. Go ahead and step off. Frederick, part of squad one, is uh, moving along. Matter of fact, I don't know. This seems like they've reconsolidated or something. Frederick's actually with his squad lead pushing to the way to the far south edge of the line here. British forces now really lining up now. You can see this line is almost stretching for like 900 meters to a click or more. All the way north to south, pointing towards Naray. And British are 
Very carefully killing buildings. He's coral. A little a preview, a little gut check for what's to come, I'm sure. Watch up. I watch. It was clear. This is that one. Turning is clear. Friendship with the building clear. Cross. No contact seen. We can be prepared to move south here. A clear village without contact for British forces. More clearing uh, happening in the north as well. Nothing happening there. Now, this fire team is the closest to insurgent contact right now. Are they any insurgents that can intercept the British squad three that's up north? Yes and no. British do have, or sorry, the insurgents have Command, two technicals that they can just roll out. And if they rolled those technicals in a in in a in a yes, proper way, maybe if the British force just hop into uh, Crest a Hill and start coming down the other side, gives the technicals a great way to engage. You know, maximize their chances of getting multiple kills. It's always something, especially because British are about ready to come up on a hill they want to occupy. This hill that runs Fox 8 to Fox 9 is certainly key terrain. You heard uh, Londarts use that term. It's definitely key because it's elevated, uh, sort of sits above the next point that's directly the east, about uh, 100, 150 meters from there. A wide open space to take a overwatch, have a firing a firing superiority position. Meanwhile, INS up here, the tallest point of the map that they can get to, that looks out most towards the west. This squad's just looking around, doing its thing. I'd imagine uh, some sort of um ethnically uh, applicable uh you know song would be sung amongst the uh, comrades in this unit i mean look at this guy this guy has a song he wants to sing it's probably some like guttural metal look at that beard i just want to stay still Take a look at some other positions here. That's that's like a him trying to get out meta lawn. That I I could see that happening. Especially after that beating. Take a look at some of the uh peak in this ridge. Things are actually gonna get the British forces moving along. Charlie, uh, let's push up a little bit further east. Alright, pull three sixty guys, mostly southeast and east. Part of forces that are in the main push, the two squad wide push that's pushing uh, west to east and the north, clearing the red route. Don't shoot, spread out to me, we'll get you closer. Back down here with INS squad one. Um, I, everyone stopped to look in one direction. I wonder why that is. I wonder if these guys actually spotted them. No. Maybe not. That's a little ways to, for it to spot. I wonder if we can actually see anyone here if I tighten my FOV from here. Eyes on the village. Definitely. It would definitely be rough to spot this contact from here. Phoenix's squad doing a pretty good job of not really skylining too much. Phoenix is actually looking in this direction. 
Yeah. I don't think the Zionist squad's going to spot anything until it's too late, which means they end up becoming a uh, a pretty good back attack team. Ooh, British have deployed their radio or deployed their uh, mortar. It's going to cost them a little bit of resources to dig it up and move it along again. But I guarantee you that mortar will not be useful unless they spot squad one for INS, for INS down there in the south. And even then, what is that? That's definitely beyond the mortar's range. Three's gonna keep heading east. Or it's beyond a really effective range for the mortar anyway. So British forces, uh, the three Vanguard squad that's up in the north, north that's northeast of the of the main force's next objective, they're moving on. Oh, Insurgent Squad One is moving directly uh, south and north. They're going to move directly into Squad One's flank here. There's a buddy team, Fulcrum and Dark Milkshake. They're going to run straight up on CLO Nuclear Twister here. Matter of fact, Phoenix might run over these guys as they run up the side, or maybe they're just going to move to this hill. Fulcrum could get some really key information here about where the British forces are. Just depends on how he plays it. But CLO is actually running towards... I think he's looking to the south here. I wonder if these guys got spotted. Milkshake, not really hiding himself. Uh, no reports of the chain of command quite yet. And Frederick is definitely looking in this direction. He just went prone. He's got his gun out and he's looking. So maybe they did spot these guys. Frederick and Dark Mil or Fulcrum and Dark Milkshake are falling Delta back now. Frederick's looking this direction. I, need all of you on right now, ready to I think Phoenix is getting ready to call in a contact report on these two. They're they're wow. And moving to the south, crossing the road to the south, moving south from near two hundred out. The, the guys who already crossed are now they've crossing again south. They're south of the street now. So these guys have moved out of Frederick's zone, unless Frederick's still watching these guys. They, uh, Fulcrum and Milkshake crossed the road. I think Frederick may even be looking for these guys where they went. Because I think Phoenix saw Fulcrum and Dark Milkshake and that he lost contact and wasn't able to put together a coherent report. You can see... Oh, yep. Fox 10, 3, 4. Uh, Phoenix now sending through a report. Fox 10, 3, 4. Understood. One, if you can just spread out there, get a really good spread and stop them getting around behind it. And now this squad being uh, given the order to keep them from coming up behind us. Hopefully... Hopefully they are able to get a little bit more information than that. Just calling a fire team down here. Although that was all that was needed to really cause problems for British last round. So the entire squad here now reorienting to their south. Command, I'm going to get a spot where I can get eyes and then we're going to stand by and wait for you. Roger. Even these guys that are in front of the, uh, the formation for squad one. Looks like I dropped a little ready on you taking up a uh, Did you can push uh, ankle? heading towards country. I guess so. <laughs> you sure. need better boot, man. They're reorienting in the south. I want to get into these uh, buildings. Let the Everybody rifle be uh, my soul uh, covering heavy white moves into country. Squad one. I think they've redeployed a couple other people here too. Silas is actually redeployed to a uh, Overwatch. 
Oh, he's not even looking in that direction. Where? Why is he? Hmm. Lima being part of this group too must be looking for that contact. He's scanning the best he can. Uh, don't worry about that. They might think we're in the town, so if we're up here and hidden. So far, I can't tell if he sees anything or not. Yeah, I don't think so. This group in, has a has a bright idea of being in this position. Contact oh no! Julia oh, Julia at eight. All right, Revy. So if you can make it to India seven four seven, and then move into Godra. Woo! Dorf spotted. Okay. India seven four. Julia at eight Number one. Two. You're gonna break from school four and start heading south. Yes, that's uh. Copy self. That's the northern base. Uh, not sure of the exact terrain, but. Uh, if you move down that road immediately to your south. And that's the northern base, and the insurgent forces are looking north here. It's actually just off the point. The point being um, the village that I'm over top of right here. But they spotted infantry. Maybe they spotted Headbuster or Benny or the Harve here. Probably more like uh, Headbuster. See, Dorf is looking in directly at Headbuster's position. Let's get a fix on where they actually might have even spotted Dorf's unit here. Right. Yeah. Just trying to figure, trying to triangulate where he's looking. Oh, the I think he may have spotted Headbuster. That should be a good position for you for the moment. Yeah, this is a... I mean, he's looking through foliage, but he may have spotted Headbuster with Sloth up there right near next to him. And Dorf's got his guys just holding position behind some pretty solid cover. Although this cover gives them the opportunity of being spotted as well. Alpha Guido, fire team lead. That backpack's definitely taller than his head. Man, force clearing this town. I wonder if you can see these guys. Barely able to see Dean and Einstein from here. Contact the Ridgeline Indian. Copy Indian. Oh, and Alpha Guido is like standing up as he moves up and down this rock. If Einstein was looking this direction, he might have seen him. Einstein not, though. So much more maneuvering happening here. Liberal part of British Squad 2 is in the center of the formation, so to speak. And he's pushing through the through a village right now, trying to get up to the next ridge line, where everything's really going to start flying. It's Julian nine seven's the objective, so they're definitely in Julian eight one, like hundred percent. Oh, for sure. If they're not, they're fucking. Money man with squad four. They're moving. Um, yeah. Generally along a road. So they're just going to push straight up this road on either side, maybe just towards the uh, objective. Or they're going to fall off the road here in the next few minutes. Hey, no, no. They're going to push through an objective town here for the layer that we're using, which is uh, Camdash Invasion B2. Frederick with Squad 1. Still hasn't been spotted. They've made it past the observation squad here in the south. Push to me. Big boulder to my east. I want you to hold that boulder. I would say that, but there's a lot of people looking in his direction. Warrior, go ahead and regroup the twister. Twister, 
twist. I kind of wonder. You're going to fill the space between myself and Delta. Copy. Oh, and if INS have eyes on, I think the INS mortar is now reorienting to squad three and four. I think we're going to see some rounds fly here very soon. They've redeployed a technical to the north. And it's on the ridge line. It's climbing the ridge line right now. Not inconspicuous at all. Uh, and like that's right. Know. Mortars are now flying. Roger, make sure we maintain spread. Oh no! Mortaring. The mortar gets two. The first hit, the mortar gets two. HMG engages that same zone. What a sniper shot for that mortar, man. Wow. That's how you get into it. More mortars? Maybe landed? I know those are the dead bodies of uh, Shigheart and Lego Dude. Or, well, one of them was anyway. Wow. British casualties very early on here in this engagement to a freaking sniper of a mortar. More rounds! Just one at a time? They're being very careful here. British forces pushing through the village. They're going to have to be careful the way they want to do this now, because I be I guarantee you, INS forces are now reorienting. Money Man, part of this push. He's at the foot of this hill behind this building. For defense. Yeah, I would say not going completely underneath it. Hey, confirm contact. Break, break. Hey, confirm. I think Money Man just spotted the uh, the he? folks that are above uh, us on the ridge. Uh, 156. Benny. I think he spotted 160 Benny. 160. 160. 160, so. I have a shot. And he's dipping. Oh, yeah, you got he it. thinks he sees. Yeah, yeah it's he's Benny. Gonna... Should I take oh, it? There we go. Oh, you got the shot. You got the shot? Take nope, him, nope. take him. All right, taking it now. Ooh. He's dead. Nice Benny gets shot, shot in the face. Good shot, man. Now, that may not be the SL they were hoping for, but that's still... Very good shot. Money Man, I'm uploading that to Ops Media later, buddy. It's a very, <laughs> uh, it's very good shot there from Money Man. I have to admit. Two, you'd like to learn to know this. Contact Indian 9 4 100 meters east of you in that village. More mortars out. Just the one mortar That's round at a time. Insurgents being very stingy with this mortar. Copy. See so if we can find spot where it lands. Another mortar out? Mortar's a little bit off. And here comes Londart's mortars. Londart's throwing a full volley. Maybe uh, there was another insurgent mortar off base. Yes, yes. Sloth gets hit by that last one. Okay, so the volley was a little off. But Sloth still technically hit, and I think he's going to try to move that uh, technical now. I think Elite's been hit Julian, by Phoenix and a squad over Julian, here. Eight, eight, Roger, Meanwhile, eight, the guys over on Overwatch, eight, squad one for INS, they're moving out. They've moved north, and now they're oriented east.
I'm being moving around behind. Okay, so and then we're gonna start getting... they're going to be able to come right behind this uh, British force here that's sort of in the south. Why'd you moan, man? So we're going to be on the rocks in front of us. Charlie North. It's taking a hot get minute to get there, though. Just try and fall back to three and then move south towards us. Oh, yeah, squad lead, I see them moving the in I-945. Uh, Bridge is getting shot at by Dr. K9, and I believe that's also uh, Atomic Peach next to him. He's hit, and Frederick has to bandage. He's getting shot at by maybe your nightmare, too. A little bit of displaced to his uh, southwest, and he's out of range, so that may have been actually your nightmare. Your nightmare now, nightmare's position is covered by foliage between him and Frederick. So Frederick saves himself there by displacing. You can see a peach with his squad lead, Dr. K9, a bunch of folks up there on the hill. He just got this little opening here covered. Same look. Peach is uh, taking some shots here. I think he's starting to shoot at William FBD, which is a squad lead. They all get off the ridge line. Uh, we're, in gate. we're taking shots by shots. Some more the, uh, shots being taken here. Using that FAL. And now that's uh, Dr. K9 taking shots at Liberal Pundit here. Liberal Pundit and Federick sort of linked up here. Back up, back up, back up. Thank you, buddy. Still trading rounds all along these hills. Warrior 5 6 goes down. Now, smoke mortars. Nope, those are real rounds. Goes off real close to K9. You can't really move because there's mortars landing in front of us. Rounds landed right where I'm looking right now. Right where Elite is running through. And this is kind of a dirty little ditch that uh, Peach and company have found themselves in. Plenty of cover, they could just slink back down and hide. And you're only realistic... Ooh. You're only really just hiding from uh, indirect fire at this point. And given the, mo given the mortar's position, how accurate is there are they ever going to be? At oh, I think... Uh, I think Peach just hit uh, Frederick again, and Lima Bean is actually crested the hill. Several dead here. Frederick goes down. I think Se I think Sebi and uh, Sebi and company are starting to hit some uh, hit some heads. Command mortar. Lima, along with Ronan, right next to him, beside him, taking shots at Liberal. Liberal just went down. No, Liberal's not down. That's someone else. CeeLo's dead. And now Lima took a look around. This is bad for British. You see Lima here in front of me. Looking around, there's just blue triangles right in front of him. All around. And dead bodies. Liberal's getting shot at. He's trying to heal. Oh, no. I think that's the end of Liberal. And Liberal's down. Lima's now getting fire returned on him. From some range. That's uh... 
Terrapin with the RPK. Oh, that's not Terrapin Dude, with the RPK. That's... I saw him go down. He's down. Good shots. Good shooting, man. You're great. Wait, is that Phoenix moved all the way over here? Wait, Phoenix... Wait. What? Phoenix says... Why does... Phoenix has run up on Peach, Nightmare, Elite, yeah. and Dr. K9. Really right next to their trench. Matter of fact, I better I imagine Phoenix is if Peach pops up again, he's gonna shoot him. Uh, radio command. I'm digging it up. Oh, here comes the grenade. This could be awesome. I missed where it landed. Little short. Actually, Peach still gets hit by Frag, but he's running away. He's having a bandage here, but okay. Meanwhile, yeah, that's something to definitely pay attention to. British have technically fulfilled their objective. They've taken the last camp, although it's not without some crazy firefights happening right now. Flat of Poutine has himself a little rock. He's taking out one, maybe yeah, looking for more. Dick's Folk, part of the defense here. Still a guy in defense. I'm Dix has his eyes turned towards that contact, but Dix is definitely... I think he's looking to clear this building. Yeah, and the Raptor Force is yeah, in the second floor of this building. He's Dix is coming up. I'm throwing a frag. Ooh, they throw a frag up. Raptor Force is just watching the stair. Oh, Dealey kills himself. God damn it. Yeah, he's getting shot north. So now it's all up to anyone that wants to come in here. Monday Man and Dix Falk. They're talking about throwing a frag up here on the second floor. Raptor in the stairwell. Yep, if only he had a frag. Right. He's actually getting shot. That might have been all just a team, a team kill. Herbert, will you bandage? Money had the bandage. Okay, yeah. right, let me Watch the staircase. Watch the windows too. This round. Stand by, Revy. We'll, we're working on it. Stay alive. There's guys outside your building. Alright. There's guys outside hey, too. We gotta clear. There's guys outside too. We got, we got our clear. other guys. Alright, buddy. I killed one, killed one. Here we go. Oh! <gasps> We're good. It's clear. Take my course. Oh my god! That seemed like Dick's Folk almost. Oh no! Was there another one? No, Money Man peeked himself out the window and got himself destroyed by Silas. Silas just watching the window. Wow. Unfortunate. Three's just gone down. Window's covered. What a turn of events. I thought Dix Folk just TK'd Money Man right there. I could have sworn he he walked up the he walked up the stairs and just started shooting. Uh, British forces still in control here at the base, at the uh, point. And they're spread out quite a bit. Insurgents are going to have to re-attack this location. Casualty count, 25 casualties for British, 30 casualties for insurgents. So that's always a uh, good sign that maybe the attack has gone off. Maybe the strategy has paid off for British here. There's just not a lot of people on INS that are attacking this point. Silas, actually, is the only one left on INS. That's anywhere near the objective. Here's Silas. He's got himself a nice little place. He's got himself his FAL. He's trying to find people to shoot. Is this you coming up? If you're coming up, let me know so I don't. Ooh, Revy heard Silas reposition. Yeah, I'm gonna cover you. Uh, can you cover me, Emmy, when I push you? And Dick's folk still calling out that he may be north. Yes. Silas takes shots at Appa. One round hits. 
to my north close. Revy and Dixwell definitely both know what's going on. Uh, north close. Within 50. INS still moving forces to the north here. They have to get through British forces to get here, though. Silas still looking. Dixfolk actually, I think he's going to try to peek out here. Oh, don't do it, Dix. It's it's not worth. No, I. He's got. He's actually pointed out here. Silas may actually see him. Man, it's so dark. I can't. see Or Silas not looking though. I hope he's not coming behind. Eight rounds going out, ready to your northeast. Uh oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Board this time only no contact is north of you, correct? Uh, Londart's sending some rounds, but they're a little off. Londart needs to send some uh, danger close rounds. That's a little bit better. Oh, we're getting closer. That last one was a little short. A here they but that one had the right angle. That would have hurt uh, Silas. Yeah, a frag out, like, oh, that hit him. <laughs> wow. And that kills him. They spend six rounds hunting for Silas. It took a mortar to take out Silas and stop him from ruining the cap. Uh, that's... Uh, right. At the risk of uh, using the meme, that's incredible. It's E3 anyway. Huh, incredible. Squad one, eight rounds going out to you west, southwest. Okay, west, southwest. So, squad one's west, southwest. So, what is that? No one. That's actually real danger close for mortars here. Any closer, that would have been bad. That would have been so bad. Uh, British fire team gets just starts running north away from the mortars. More mortars now off point as well. Ooh. Terrapin gets spotted by Appa and Relish. And Terrapin's hit. Terrapin, one of the squads in the south that's trying to reestablish some sort of attack here. And... Ooh. Yeah, lower that, and left. There's a guy that's never a good sign. Yeah, he's, you kinda Terrapin getting shot there. at again. Wow, the British still have mortar rounds to play with. That's tremendous. Two more volleys, tops. Squad 4, is that a friendly... Gun we hear going up. Squad one, there might be someone around our building creep Un unconfirmed. Now they're getting paranoid. Silas has them paranoid. Watching him. I saw one north oh north. no, Phoenix. Dick spoke heard something running around, but it could have been me running. Yeah, were you running? Like that could be I was Oh around. no, it's Doobie Scoo. That's uh that's east on the hill. Yeah. Uh, Doobie Scoo, the lone, the lone, uh, attacking force here. I think you just got spotted by a nuclear twister. Well, there's more rounds landing. Hmm. Doobie, uh, trying to serpentine himself away. What the hell is this? Wow, he actually he actually made it. I guess you can run in serpentines. Ooh! Wow! Those word arounds actually where uh, Doobie was just at. Now Kuba's shooting at Doobie. He's running the wrong way, man. Koopa's repositioning here. 
Koopa's out for some blood. And Doobie now running away too. Oh, they're both running. And I think Kuba can't see Doobie running. Doobie running. running. Kuba even running. knows. Oh my God. Kuba knows what's going on here. Actually, Doobie stopped running. Oh, Doobie's, Doobie's looking this way. Is he looking this way? Is he still running? Are they actually running after each other? Kuba starts taking some shots and there goes Doobie. Wow, that was a weird. To push up from that direction. When's the next free weekend? Great question. Mm -hmm. Oh no, Koopa's actually gonna run up on Lima and Terrapin here. Command, if you contact Yellow Knight, I'm reloading. Just try to see if you can find these guys. And Terrapin reloading. starts opening up. Oh yeah, here. Copy. Koopa uh, with his uh, squatty here. He's got uh, mankeys with them. Move with me, selfies. Oh, Koopa, Koopa hit Lima. Koopa continuing in the move around right now. Shoots Lima dead. Koopa with the pure aggression here with his buddy. Some nice cover. Oh, no. That didn't last very long. Terrapin just destroys uh, Koopa there. I thought, yeah, even I thought Terrapin was on the other side of the ridge. So I don't blame him for just thinking that was clear. Uh, Minkies saw Kuba go down, so you gotta imagine he's looking for him. As far as remaining uh, forces here, we got Seppi coming up the hill. There's even a couple more, Ronin and Shyskov. They're moving uh, to the east as well. So maybe looking at four left? Four, four left. Oh, Mickey's getting shot at from uh, from Sevi. What a shot, actually! What an amazing shot. Sevi on a ridge line sees this guy running. He's looking for him. I think he switched. No, he's still looking for him. Mankeys just gets back up and starts running again. Now, he is running alongside Ronan and Shyskov. Might be bad news if Shyskov and Ronan decide to turn west faster, which they might actually be doing. It's good when you don't have to push them too hard. They have to cross this road. Too yeah, they're turned, they've turned pretty much straight west, like west-northwest. They're moving along now. They're going to come up this hill. They might have a shot at... Uh, Minkies, they might be able to see Minkies here. But Lawn Dart's the master is also coming in this direction. So if Lawn decides to push all the way over here, that could be bad. Revy, could you toss some guys there to just keep an eye out to the south, west, west? And they're being careful. I think Lawn Dart's maybe trying to rejoin his squad here because they're going to put down the rally. Not the rally, the radio in the last point, and officially make it their last stand. Uh, Ronan and Koff are gonna go ahead and move around. Sebi's coming down the mountain. Trying to look for anyone that's in the way. And Terrapin still, uh, he's moving slowly too, but he is moving. Ooh, Nuclear Twister sees Sebi. And I don't think Sebi knew where he was getting shot from. He's not even looking that direction, man. Nuclear Twister just at the top of this ridge just goes... Oh, no, now he saw him. I think Sebi... Ooh, yeah, there we go. Sebi switches to his rifle and takes a few shots at Nuclear, but Nuclear falls back. Sebi favoring the full auto semi fire. It's 
just trying to uh, spend some ammo to suppress the ridge line, but he's still getting shot at here. Matter of fact, Ronan and Shyskov, Shyskov goes down, but Ronan's getting shot at, uh, and the bullets are actually bouncing off him. I think that's Londart's there getting response for that kill. Grenade comes in. So now it's just Ronan on this ridge line. Terrapin and Sebi still pushing around. They're taking their time trying to get up this hill, I think. Trying to find a better location to shoot people, but I think Ron I think Londart's got a kill. Ooh. That was close. Sebi comes up the hill and Terrapin as well, so they're all gonna make a push up this hill. Stepping back a bit. I'm too close. Ooh. I wonder if Twister heard that ammo bag go down. There's a few people on the side of the hill for British. We got uh, Nuclear Twister. We got Mankey's. Ooh, Mankey's actually going to get, get run up on because Mankey's isn't even looking in that direction. Watch out. Incoming grenade. Oh. Fuck. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Oh, grenade. Will it get overthrown? Yes. And here comes Terrapin. He's just going to run at it. Ooh. Mankey's outguns Terrapin. Wow. Ter I think Mankey's got up and under, under where he was expecting him to be. Sebi gets himself spotted up here, but is able to kill Mankey's and take some fire from the opposite ridge line. Or from the town, rather. And he has to bandage. I believe we're just down to one. Yeah, I think we're just down to one right now. Nope, Ronan's still up. So, two men against, uh, let's see, that's six, uh, nine. So, it's two against nine. And Sebi taking some shots. Now, Ronan taking some shots. Hard to say if they're actually effective. Oh, actually, Dixfolk gets hit. So they're shooting at the opposite ridge line. But Sevi is effectively pinned here. I think we see smokes coming out. Yep. So here comes smokes. And Ronan re is going to pivot around. Actually, I think Ronan's dead. Yeah, Ronan's dead. So this is just a last stand by Sebi. He's going to run around. I mean, if Ronan's not dead, he's doing a brilliant hiding job on me. I think he did die. So he's going to push around here. Londarts might pick up another kill here. Yeah, he pulled out uh, over the east. Looking around, we're, we're nearing the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. Londarts. Ooh, we crawl a little bit. I think you just saw him. Super team pattern. Ronan gets hit. Or this is Sebi. Sebi gets hit. And can't win the duel against Londarts, the master. And I believe that's GG. Trying to cross the road out to my right? A convincing win for Londarts and the British forces on this map. A whole squad up at the end. What a game. What a great game. That was Operation Wicca Gardens.